Today we're buying an epic Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection video and I've been sent a lot of collections recently. These are the ones where like, I agree I'm gonna pay like 65% on what the TCG player value is, but I don't actually know what the full value is yet. So we're gonna be checking it out and seeing what we think we should be paying for this collection. But before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away 24 more Tactical Masters loose first edition packs. These did come from boxes from my cases. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know what do you think we should pay for it? What do you think it's worth overall? Let's hop into it. All right, we have a note for this one. It says, hey, Ruxin, love your videos. Hope to see cards in a future video. Take good care of my babies. Keep being great. Okay, this actually does not have a lot of cards in it. So let's see what is inside. I don't really remember. He also had an addition to the giveaway. He had these three cards. Rip, that is now banned. Uh, and then we have uh, two dice as well. So these, oh, this is a Blue Eyes White Dragon dice. Oh, okay. So you guys can win those as well. We'll be adding those to the giveaway. He also has a Sarda Kaiba Reloaded. I don't think these are really worth much at all. They're probably like in the $10 range. So nothing too crazy there, but it is a deck. And then this is all the cards. So there's not a ton of cards. Let's see what we got in here. We have Dragon Master Knight. I did see some cool stuff when I kind of flipped through them. Yubel from Legendary Collection GX. We've got a Starlight here. So like we're not messing around. So it's a small collection in terms of quantity, but the quality seems to be pretty good. Dino Morphia Terezi. I don't think it's like the best Starlight from the set, but it wasn't too bad from Battles of Chaos. Sword Soul Grandmaster Chi Chow, pretty cool. Oh, wow, Dark Dragoons in here. Okay, I did not remember this. Okay, Starlight Dragoon, you love to see it. I do have a play set of these, but can you ever have too many Starlight Dragoons? I don't think so, pretty cool. The Dark Magician's also a Starlight, so we have some very heavy hitters. Like, that's three, four Starlights now. Uh, the, okay, the Coverture. Okay, this is, I think this one was very cheap when it first came out. I don't know if it still is. I think it was like 60 bucks or something. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, an absolute awesome one. One of my favorite Starlights of all time. I just love the Jet Dragon. I think it's really cool design and really funny that you got Kaiba's Jet out here. The Insector Dragonfly, that looks like a collector rare. The first one we pulled out of Grand Creators, then we went on a two-case streak of no collector rares at all. That was pretty bad. We have the, oh, little spoilers there. We got a, oh, Terraforming Ultimate Rare. That's pretty sick. The Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eye. If you guys remember a little Rux and Trivia, this was the third Starlight out of the three Starlight um, IP Masquerina case, whatever that's it's called. Chaos Impact, I believe. Chaos Ember Dragon Envoy of the End. That is a collector unlimited, unfortunately, but still nice. Uh, number C39 Utopia Ray Victory. I have this in PSA 10. I actually graded two of these. It was pretty cool. Artemis the Moon, Magistus Moon Maiden. Very nice for those invoked decks. Is that a collector or just an ultra? Just looks like an ultra. Dark Requiem Exceeds Dragon. That's an ultimate rare. Number 39, Utopia. That's also an ultimate. Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos ulti. That's from the uh, OTS 17. That's pretty sick, actually. Divine Arsenal Zeus, another beautiful one. I wish we had the starlight of that. Skill Drain. This has uh, some print issues, which is not surprising. OTS 19 was really, really rough in terms of print stuff. Crystal. I think I need this. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I think I need this for my Ghost uh, Binder. I might actually need that for my collection. That's because I never actually pulled this one from Ghost in the past one. We, I, we don't need this one because we did pull this a couple of times, I think. So very nice. Wait, didn't I give that one away? Maybe I don't have that. Majestic Star Dragon, another Ghost Rare. Very beautiful. Skill Drain, also very beautiful. That's another copy of that. Fall of Albaz. Fall of Albaz. Nice. We got the Link Spider Ultimate Rare. We got the El Shadal Construct Ultimate Rare from a Duelist Alliance. I've still never pulled anything good out of that set, but one day we're going to pull something good. Very nice. The Shekinaga, I feel like I pulled this in like secret, but not in ultimate. That's cool. Abyss Dweller, that, what is that? OTS 13, all the way. This is the first one that I got into when I first got back into it and in opening OTS packs. Baron de Floor, the card that you need to sell as soon as possible if you're not playing in your deck, because this card's like a hundred dollars. And once they reprint it in Legendary Duel Season 4, it's gone. So uh, keep that in mind. Dogmatica Ecclesia Ultimate Rare. Dogmatica Ecclesia Ultimate Rare. Galatea the Orchist Automaton, that's another ultimate rare. Chaos Dragon Levy in here. This is a nice collection. Like, it's just loose cards, like a few loose cards, and they're really nice. Firewall. Play set of Fallen of Albaz. Very nice. Fusion Destiny. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got Fusion Destiny. I, there's actually another one over here. So, two Fusion Destinies. I think these actually went up quite a bit since they are now back at three because of the ban list uh, update a couple days ago. So, very nice to see that. Invocation is really cool for those uh, epic decks. We got the Warlord Savage Dragon. Still a pretty good card. There's the third Fusion Destiny. So, there's a whole play set of them, which is pretty sick, actually. Three Fusion Destinies. This is actually an insane collection. I didn't remember it being so awesome. I took, like, a quick look at it, I think, when it first sent it to me, but I didn't remember it being this sick. We have Joker Straight. That's a Collector Rare as well. What's this from? King's Court? Yeah. Lightning Storm Collector Rare. That is sick. Okay. 
The Dark Magician from the 25th anniversary of Battles of Chaos. Interesting how it says 25th and not like Battles of Chaos. It's from Battles of Chaos, but it has a... Is there any other cards that say that? They're like from a specific set, but they don't say the set name in the set code. That's pretty weird. Okay, we got the uh, Totally Awesome. Okay, this guy went up quite a bit recently. Another Totally Awesome. Or Sartic Pilar. Is this a collector here? What in the world? I don't remember that guy. Exo Sister Sophia. I do remember this one. I think we pulled this. All right. Yada Garasi. Just a common. Okay. Very nice. The uh, Ursartic Grant. What is in there? We got some. Uh, we got something on there. Hopefully that's not. That is in the sleeve, it appears. Okay. I don't, we'll, we'll deal with that. Skull Miser. That's actually one of the best cards from Ancient Guardians, which is not a great set. Anti Spell Fragrance. We pulled that from the recent set. Eye of Tamias. There we go. EX Gamer. This one's for you. Uh, the Ghost Rare Eye of Tamias, beautiful. We have the Ghost Rare Cyber Dragon as well. You'd love to see those from Ghosts from the Past too. Astrograph Sorcerer, Collector Rare, Herald of Perfection. That's a Ghost Rare from the, uh, the what's that set called? The old series Haunted Mine. It was a guaranteed Ghost Rare every single pack. We opened some of these, or at least one of these in the every pack opening, which you guys may have seen or may be seeing like tomorrow or the next day, probably by the time you see this. Uh, it is being worked on by my editor, so hopefully it'll come out soon. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. The Blackwing Dragon, very cool. Unlimited. I don't know if I have this unlimited. I might need this for my binder as well. Ariana the Labyrinth Servant. We got some most recent uh, Tactical Masters cards, at least. Exodia Lost Star. We got the Ultimate Slayer Secret Rare. The, another Cyber Dragon. Wow, okay. The Access Code Talker Gold Rare. Is this from uh, Maximum Gold El Dorado? There we go. The Ultimate Slayer again. We've got a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Another one. So this is probably not worth too much now that there's the uh, Prismatic Secret Rare out of the tin. Then the number 101 Silent Honor arc. So I did pull this one. I remember that. The newest Ghost Rare, I believe. A few more cards in this. Uh, not too crazy, but we have a Skill Drain. Okay, very cool. Dark Rebellion X. Oh, wait. I might need this. I think I need this for my binder. We're going to actually put that in this video. I'm going to see what I need for my binder. Artifact Dagda. This is uh, Duov. Yeah, Dual Overload. I think this was pretty good when everyone was using the Scythe Lock, but I don't think they're doing it as much now. Glow Up Bulb Secret Rare. Oh, the Leviathan Dragon. Yeah, one of the uh, not best Starlight or Astral, technically, but Starlight's not performing that well. There's a Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare. That is beautiful. I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in that one. Oh, shoot. Oh, look at this, this sleeve that it's in. It's got double rarity. It's a Starlight, and then it's got like the little Shatter Foil as well. That actually looks really cool. I like that. Uh, the Nightmare Unicorn Collector Rare. This is... Wait, is this a Collector Rare? No, it's just a Super. Or is it? No, it's a Collector Rare. You just can't really see it. Very interesting. Cosmic Cyclone, also a Collector Rare out of the recent set. Trap Trick out of the uh, most recent set. Shinonome, the Valence Priestess. Guilty Gear Free. Where's this one from? Kaiko. Okay, it's been a while. Red Eyes Black Dragon. How long did it take us to pull this guy? 13 cases, something like that. Dark Magician Girl, Lost Art from... This Is this the original one? No, this is the reprint one. Okay, the reprint... Serpent Knight Dragon First Edition. Okay, pretty cool card. Oh, there's another Dark Magician Girl in here with a little bit of crap on it. We'll have to get that out of that sleeve. The, oh, a Dark Magician in here too? Man, talk about a really nice collection. Like, there was some really awesome stuff in there. That's like what you call, what do they say? All killer, no filler when you're talking about a, a TV show? That's what this collection was. All right, so I brought out the binder. Here's the Blackwing Dragon. So over here is First Edition, but you guys know how it goes with uh, trying to show binders, but I'll show you guys. So like Ghost Rare, First Edition, Ultimate First Edition, Ultra First Edition. This should be Ghost Unlimited, which we have just grabbed. I don't know what condition it's in. Let's check it out. So the front, oh wow, that looks pretty good. A little bit of a scratch in the middle there. Some scratches, I would say. Not too bad. Honestly, this is pretty nice. Okay, maybe a little bit of something going on up there, but this doesn't appear to be too bad. I could live with this being my binder copy, to be honest. It doesn't have to be completely perfect, but I think this is pretty good. So this is gonna be added to this spot. This definitely has some scratches on it. I can see like in different lighting, but it's not too bad. Like I will take it. It's only unlimited anyway. It doesn't have to be like mint. It doesn't have to be near mint. Okay, so there we go. We have just officially added one from this collection. That's really cool. Okay, it looks like we have a Dark Rebellion. It's funny how these all actually ended up being, look, you can see my face right there. Funny how these all ended up being like in the right spot so that the camera doesn't have to be picked up and stuff, but this is mod play. So I need a near mint. Let's see if it's better than a mod play at least. Let's check it out. So this one is definitely not as good as the other one. You can already see some scuffing and some scratches on it, but so far not worse than mod play, I would say. Back, I mean, this one I'm looking at maybe like LP, I would say. I think it's an upgrade for sure from the other one. Like this one, here's the problem with this one. You kind of tilt it, you guys can see there's some scratches in there. Like it's really not that bad though, but it's it's definitely better than this one being mod play. So I think we can at least replace that one. All right, time to upgrade our Dark Rebellion XC's Dragon Unlimited. Oh wait, wait, time out. This is an Unlimited. This is first edition. And check this out. We don't even have a first edition. Let's just move this over. 
And, uh, okay, so it looked like we at least have a first edition now. I wasn't paying attention. That is first edition, not unlimited. Beautiful. Okay, and this is hilarious. It keeps being in the same spot, which technically the last one wasn't. Look, there I am. Hello, boing, boing, boing. I don't even have a crystal clear wing synchro dragon, so this is cool. Let's just double check the condition. So if it is not near mint, we got to mark it, but it is a pretty new card, so I'm hoping that it's near mint. Um, card looks to be pretty nice, and there's going to be some scuffing on the back, but it's goes from the past two, so who cares? Basically fine for me. <laughs> or goes from the past one, not two, but whatever, you know. All right, binder edition number, like, three from this collection? Very nice. Okay, we have one more. Okay, never mind. We don't have one more. I did already have this card, so three editions, though, is insane for this binder, so this binder is making a lot of progress. Really happy about that. We can close this guy up. So that turned out to be a pretty awesome collection that not only has some really nice stuff in it, but also had some stuff that I need for my specific collection. So I'm always excited to see that. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tomfo Show, and then as high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.